Alright, so we got our motors on the board, front and wheel, back wheels on the board, looks great. Now we're going to start installing the electronics. So these are torque boards, V6 ESCs, they're VESCs, so I'll be programming them on the PC, but we're going to go ahead and get them secured onto the board where they should go. I'm going to start by putting them as close to the back motor wires as possible and I'm going to push them to one side and then in this little cutout here the little extra space that's where our receiver for our controller is going to go and to secure them I'm going to be using these velcro pads to secure everything. So these two are for the ESCs and I'm going to just start with one of them. The Velcro just comes apart so I'm going to leave it stuck together and peel the actual adhesive off one side. Peel that off and stick it to the back of the speed controller. So now we have this nice Velcro on the bottom of our speed controller. Now we can take off the other adhesive protection piece. And this is going to go on the deck. So make sure that the deck is clean. Right, right where you're placing it. And we're going to just right in the corner here leaving a little bit of space for the wires and a little bit of space for air. We're gonna stick this down onto the deck and just push down on the speed controller. Make sure you get it nice and stuck. And there you go. Now that speed controller is not going anywhere. Now I'm gonna work on the second one. I'm gonna stick that down. And so there you have it. Now the speed controllers are nice and secure to the board. So now we are going to secure our receiver. But before we do that, we're gonna plug in some wires to our speed controllers. So this is a CAN bus, CAN bus, either CAN bus or CAN bus. It's spelled uh, C-A-N-B-U-S connector and this is what's going to transfer data from our master speed controller to our slave speed controller. And so there's a port on here labeled CAN and you'll just want to plug this in to both. And I'm going to do a little bit of wire management as I do this, putting the extra cable underneath my adapter here just to keep it out of the way. Then I'm gonna take my receiver cable, which will also plug into the master. It'll plug in in the PPM port. So we're gonna plug this in here. Make sure it's nice and secure. And we're gonna feed it under the CAN bus connector. And we're gonna plug it into receiver channel one with the black wire facing out to the edge of the receiver. And we're gonna do the same thing. Here's the little Velcro pad. We're gonna find the coarse side and we're gonna put that on the back of the receiver. Just push down. And there you have it. So next we're gonna take our parallel connector for our speed controllers. This is XT60 to XT90 parallel connector. And these are gonna plug in to the ends of the speed controllers. This is our battery. It's a 12S 4P flex battery. And 
and we are going to secure it to the deck all the way pressed up against the front of the board and it'll go right there. So we're going to take these long Velcro pads and we're going to take one, two, and three. Those will go on the battery itself and then three for the deck. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna push the battery still flat with the where it would be in the enclosure to help me line up where I'm gonna stick these. And we're going to try to stick it up in this corner up against this edge and then stick flat across the deck. Move the battery a little more. And then we're going to stick it up against this edge. So that's where the first one's going to go. I'm going to do the same thing two more times. And then apply these to the battery. So now we've got our Velcro where the battery will go on the inside. Now we just got to secure Velcro to the battery. There you have your battery with Velcro on each of the flexes and it looks good. So now we're going to secure it to the deck and what I'll do is I'll start with this edge pushing it all the way up against this edge and then I'll go one pack at a time, lining it up and pushing it, wiggling it firmly into place with the Velcro. So that is not going anywhere. Now we need to plug in power to the speed controllers, but first we're going to have to get our charging port, our on-off switch, and our battery indicator in our enclosure. This is the enclosure. It's nice and clean. Looks great. It's got three holes here. I'm going to start with the power button. This is just an on-off switch with the adapter and we are going to feed the wire through the appropriate hole which in this case is the largest circular hole and this should just snap into place pop it into place and there you have it that is your on off switch next we're going to put our battery indicator. So here is our battery indicator. And it's got a plug on the back. So this is going to go through the enclosure where the hole for it is, which is right here. And it'll look like so. You wanna make sure you orient it in the correct direction but once you get it lined up you just screw in these little screws here you want to make sure not to damage these tiny holes in the enclosure while doing this Next, we're going to put in our DC charging cable. I'm going to feed this whole thing, the wires through the hole. And I'm going to orient it so that the port closes like this. 
So we're gonna hold that in place where we want it. And we're gonna come to the back and we're going to feed the screw, feed the wires through it. to just screw it nice and tight to secure it to the enclosure and go as hard as you can by hand. Once you get to that point, I'm gonna take some pliers and tighten it just a little more. I think that's as tight as it's gonna go. So there you have it, your charging port, battery indicator, and power button. This is how it looks on the inside. So you're going to want to take this cable here from the charging port and plug it into the back of the LCD indicator. There we go. So get that plugged in and now we just need to plug this into the battery right here and you'll hear it click once you get it nice and tight. Then you're going to want to make sure that it's in the off position when you do that by the way. <laughs> then these two wires are to help it just slide in there we go <laughs> so now that's secure i'm gonna actually take some electrical tape and seal this up i like to seal up all my permanent connections black wire is connected to the charging port now we're gonna do the same thing for the red wire connect the red wire to the red wire of the battery go it's plugged in same thing I'm gonna wrap it in electrical tape so now all of our enclosure items are plugged in next we're going to plug in power to the ESC's and then we'll be able to turn it on with our on off switch but first we're gonna need to plug in our motor wires and our sensor wires the speed controllers are labeled A, B, C from left to right, if you're looking at it from the top. And A is going to go to the yellow wire on these motors. B is going to go to black on these wires. And C is going to go to blue. Then I'm going to take my sensor wire and my sensor wires do not plug directly into my speed controller. I have adapters that I'll need to grab to throw those on, but I'm going to do the same wiring here with A to yellow, B to black, and C to blue. And now your motor wires are plugged in for the most part. I'm going to need to secure these down somehow. And we're also going to need to electrical tape all of these connections. So that's what we're going to do. So there you have it. This is, these are all wired up and electrical taped for security. And then these were the sensor wire adapters that I was looking for. They plug into the end of the sensor wire and then into the speed controller. So now we are basically done with the mechanical setup of this board. We can start, just plug it in to power.
And then before you do so, make sure that your power button is in the off position and you can turn it on and you'll see we have 36% battery. So we're gonna have to charge this up. We have lights on our speed controllers and our receiver. We could technically go ahead and pair our remote to the receiver. So let's do that. We'll turn it on. And it has a green light. This stopped flashing our receiver. And so we should now have power. I could technically give it throttle right now and it may do something, but I am going to go ahead and plug it into the computer and program these speed controllers before I continue any further. So one thing I didn't think about is securing the battery management system itself to the deck. So we're going to go ahead and do that now. Stick it to the deck. Actually, I do want this. and secure. That's basically it right there.